Hi guys, welcome back to Top 10 Famous Channel. Today we bring you another interesting videos about the talented actors and actresses from the world's all-time favorite movies. Apollo 13 is a space docudrama film directed by Ron Howard and featuring an all-star cast including Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, and Bill Paxton. Upon its release in 1985, Apollo 13 received critical acclaim and was nominated for 9 Academy Awards. Let's have a look back at the stars of the movie and find out where they are now. Jack Swigger was another pivotal astronaut on the Apollo 13 mission. Kevin Bacon played his role and became a pivotal character for the film. In the last 27 years, Kevin has appeared in many films and has been equally prolific on television, winning a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award for the HBO original film Taking Chance 2009. Bacon, now 64, has become associated with a concept of interconnectedness among people, having been popularized by the game Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, and has also been involved in charitable works throughout the years. Bill Paxton was praised by fans and critics alike for his performance in the film as Fred Hayes, the Apollo 13 lunar module pilot. Paxton went on to appear in movies including Titanic, Edge of Tomorrow, Nightcrawler, and also took his acting prowess to the small screen landing roles on television series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and HBO series Big Love. In February 2017, Bill passed away after suffering a stroke after having heart surgery at 61, leaving behind his wife of 20 years and their two kids. His final film, The Circle, was released two months later. Despite having a limited screen time in the film Apollo 13, Gary, as command module pilot Ken Mattingly, managed to make a huge impact. After making the Ron Howard film Apollo 13, Sinais made more movies including The Green Mile, Imposter, and starred as leading roles in the television series Truman, George Wallace, and CSI New York. Born on March 17, 1955, the now 67-year-old actor has also received numerous awards and honors for his extensive humanitarian work and involvement with charitable organizations. American actor and filmmaker Ed Harris starred as the white team flight director Gene Kranz. Since the Apollo 13 movie, Harris's performance in The Truman Show, Pollock and The Hours earned him critical acclaim and Academy Award nominations. He also worked as a film director and currently stars as the Man in Black in the HBO science fiction series Westworld, for which he earned a nomination for the Primetime Emmy Award. As of now, Harris is 71 years old. Among his 200-plus acting credits, the flight manager Seymour Lieber got in Apollo 13 was one of the most known roles of actor Clint Howard. He regularly appeared in films directed by his brother Ron Howard. Aside from acting, the now 63-year-old is a lead singer of his own band, The Kempsters, and also makes custom snow globes. Since beginning his career in the early 1980s, Alexander Berkeley has appeared in over 200 film and television projects, including the 1995 film Apollo 13 as Henry Hertz, a fictional NASA Office of Public Affairs staff member. Berkeley has worked steadily over the years, tackling more roles on the big screen and on television, as well as provides voiceover work and voiceover for several animated series. As of this video, the actor is 66 years old. A veteran stage actor on the East and West Coasts, Joe Spano appeared in the Apollo 13 movie as the NASA director. The actor is most known for his work on television, with his roles as Lieutenant Henry Goldblum on Hill Street Blues and FBI Special Agent Tobias C. Fornell on NCIS. Joe Spano is 76 years old as of this video. Much of Lauren Dean's acting career, however, has been in supporting roles. He appeared in Apollo 13 as EECOM John Aaron. Dean has since appeared regularly in films and on stage, and has supported filmmakers behind the scenes as well. Born on July 31, 1969, he is 53 years old. After starring as the Apollo 12 commander Pete Conrad, David Andrews became known for his role as Lieutenant General Robert Brewster in the 2003 sci-fi action film Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. His most recent appearance was as the supporting role Cecil Lafayette in the 2019's American crime drama television series Queen of the South. 
Andrews was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, U.S. on November 2, 1952, which makes him 69 years old now. Starring as Blanche Lovell, Jim's mother, was played by American actress Jean Spiegel Howard, who acted primarily in film and on television. Howard appeared in over 30 television shows, mostly sitcoms during the 1980s and 1990s until her death in 2000. She was 73 years old. Kathleen Quinlan earned a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her work as Marilyn Gerlach Lovell in Apollo 13. In a career spanning almost five decades, Quinlan has appeared in numerous feature films, television movies, and series. Her latest on-screen appearance was in 2019 on Shonda Rhimes' How to Get Away with Murder. Born on November 19, 1954, the actress is 67 years old as of this video. From his years as a child actor, Michael Hughes was consistently one of the busiest young actors in Hollywood. In Apollo 13, he starred as Jeffrey Lovell, Jim's younger son. After a break in his career, Hughes re-emerged as a teen in the science fiction series Roswell, and since appeared regular on TV and in films. The now 36-year-old is also a musician and a film director. American actress Mary Kate Shellhard played Barbara Lovell, Jim's older daughter in the Apollo 13 movie, which was also her most known acting credit up to date. Her latest appearance was in an episode of Fox sitcom television series New Girl in 2016. Born on November 1, 1978, the actress is 43 years old as of this video. Emily Ann Lloyd is best known for her role as Susan Lovell, the daughter of Jim Lovell in Apollo 13. Since then, the actress has starred in a number of films and television series, earning her almost 15 acting credentials. Lloyd is now 38 years old and has been taking a break from performing. Jim Lovell was a real-life astronaut who actually said the words, Houston, we have a problem, back in 1970. Tom Hanks thus plays the protagonist in the film by portraying the character of the veteran astronaut. Since starring in Apollo 13, Tom Hanks has continued to craft a legacy as a cultural icon. He is now one of the most popular and recognizable film stars worldwide, having won two Academy Awards out of six nominations and won seven Primetime Emmy Awards for his work as a producer. The now 66-year-old veteran actor is still active in the industry with many upcoming promising projects. Here you go, the cast of Apollo 13. Leave a comment in the section below if you have a recommendation for our channel and make sure to click the like and subscribe button to support us. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.